right now it supposedly work on mobile as well, but somebody made me notice that you have to press enter to start the game and of course, thanks Pablo for noticing that. Man. <laughs> so let's take a look at the code. The code is like that simple. This is asteroids overall. I mean, so it's not anything super complicated. Wait a second, can I do games with Blazor? Today, we've opened at Microsoft. I'm here with David Kida, and we're going to talk about BlazorX, a new way to do Blazor games. Yeah, Pablo, thank you so much for having me today. I mean, games, yes, you can make awesome 2D games, okay? <laughs> you can wow. make, of course, 3D games, fancy A, triple A games like Halo or, I don't know, fourth time, I'm so sorry, I'm just too old for, for that. But <laughs> TV games, almost anything you want. Hey, don't downsell yourself here. It's open at Microsoft. We are here to know exactly what can we do with open source and Microsoft and Blazor. I'm always interested to know new Blazor stuff. So can you show a little bit for me about Blazor X and what can it do? Yeah, so um, I love video games. Okay, absolutely. Like everybody, everybody should do. And I noticed that Blazor doesn't have a proper, um, so far, a proper HTML canvas wrapper. So HTML, the um, HTML canvas is the one of the ways that you can make, you can use HTML and JavaScript to make games, but there was no wrapper in Blazor. So I decided to spend some time on that and to bridge the gap. And I came up with BlazorX. I honestly, I don't remember why the name came up like that, but I don't know, I just like it. So uh, again, it's just a wrapper. So what it does, it uses the um, JS interop to communicate with the actual uh, HTML element of the canvas. And yeah, you can do interesting stuff. That's, the, that's an example of the rendering type that you can do with that. That's, that's the doom, because I'm old. <laughs> that's the doom fire effect rendered in real time uh, with, 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 with the library, with BlazorX. So the usage is actually pretty simple. So the basic usage is pretty simple. So all you have to do is um, you have to uh, add the canvas elements to, uh, to your application, to your page. You can define the, the sides and then you have a, a series of events that you can register to. And in this case, you have like a frame ready and the canvas ready. So the canvas ready is what happens when the canvas is fully initialized. So it happens only once in the life cycle. And then the frame ready is what you will be using for updating your frame. So it happens at every, every update loop. And that's literally it. Now, a fancy thing that you can actually do is also, well, yeah, you should also add the uh, CSS uh, of, to the library it happens. Um, you can also use a canvas manager and you can uh, dynamically add canvases to your application so you can have multiple canvases. And this helps for some type of uh, effects. So for example, you can have a smaller canvas, have a rendering happening there, and then grab the, the texture from that canvas and upscale it to the bigger one. It's very helpful so for some type of... Uh, for some type of uh, effects okay that sounds incredible so do you have any sample that you can show us and how blazer x can help us or show me what is a game made with blazer looks like yeah we do have we do have some so let me show you the game first and then we talk so i wrote a very simple asteroids clone and probably it's just my browser that's right now is going very slow <laughs> because of the streaming, stream. but trust me, when yeah. you try it, it will go fast. And actually, I disabled the sound now, but there is sound, there is music on the back end, background, there is sound effects when, when the, there's explosions and things like that. So um, you, you can try it. Right now, it supposedly worked on mobile as well, but somebody made me notice that you have to press enter to start the game and... <laughs> Of course, thanks Pablo for noticing that, man. 
<laughs> so let's take a look at the code. The code is like that simple. This is asteroids overall. I mean, so it's not anything super complicated. Um, so I'm using um, a component-based approach where you basically uh, have a simple class for uh, defining a game object here uh, when it loads. Yeah, there we go. Can you see? Is the code visible here? So the game object basically has an ID and has a, a list of components. And by attaching components to the game object, you can basically define the behavior of that game object. So in this case, you can have a game, um, components defining the, the sprite that you're going to render. You can have a component defining the transformation on the screen, like this one. This is super important. This is crucial. So that defines where the actual game object lies on the screen or in your world. Uh, you can have another game, another component that defines the actual brain. So if it's an enemy, it can be like the AI of the enemy, or it can be uh, your brain. So it's the actual, I don't know, keyboard or input wrapper, so that, that you can control the object on the screen. And game objects also can define uh, like a, a, a hierarchy, so they have a collection of other game objects so that you can create a proper tree and do interesting things. Like, I don't know, if you want to simulate the um, solar system, so you can have the sun, which is another game object, and then you have a collection of children, which are the other planets and then asteroids and so on and so forth. It's simple, but somewhat power powerful, so. You can do I, a lot of interesting things with that. Yeah. yeah, I must remember that a lot of simple things can you know be developed further and further. So you can do a lot of things with laser racks. And you know, start your experiment. What can you do with laser in 2D gaming? So David, I gonna ask you if you have anything else to add for open at Microsoft folks. Try the try the game, try the game engine, what they can do to help laser X, you know further yeah yeah thanks for asking that so well the game of course as i mentioned to you before is that simple um i'm sometimes i add more functionalities like for example i have the uh, support for like uh shields so you can have a shield and it recharges and there's power apps but anybody can contribute it's open source but uh what i really care is the actual library the library is available on nougat so anybody can just go on nougat and, and pull it but again it's open source so anybody can contribute for example before i mentioned um that uh it works using the the JavaScript interop but there is a newer version of the interop right now and the the, the version that i'm using uh, is deprecated is going to be removed uh, sometime soon so that's something that um i i'm working from on from time to time but if somebody's willing and wants to contribute and there is some of the functionalities of the uh, HTML canvas that I haven't implemented because probably I was not using them in the Blazor game. So if anybody wants, raise a PR, uh, I'll be very willing to add it to the library. Completely understood. And lastly, any personal last messages here for Open at Microsoft? What do you mean by personal aspect? <laughs> I don't know. Something I want to talk about. I don't know. Blazor X or anything else. Oh, no. Again, this is, this is, a, this is a pet project of mine. I, I, again, as I said before, I love video games. And I'm actually curious of what people can do with this library. And I think how much they can push the, the power of, of Blazor and the 2D rendering with that. It will be interesting to see people. I've seen crazy things out, out in the wild, and yeah, mm -hmm. I, I'd be, I won't be surprised to see like fantastic things being done with this. Folks, you heard David. If you have anything that you do with Blazor X, you know, I don't know, tag him somewhere, tag him on GitHub. Maybe you're gonna take a look, and it will be amazing to see how folks can push further and further gaming with Blazor. Blazing is breaking ground every single day, and it will be enjoyed and happy to see the next steps of Blazor. David, thank you so much for being at here with Open at Microsoft. Thank you so much, Pablo. Thanks. And, fo and folks, stay tuned for the next episodes of Open at Microsoft. See you soon. Bye.